Joining me now is Angel Skipper and former Texas Rangers manager Ron Washington. And Wash, uh, we'll get into your new gig, but I know you have a message for, for the Rangers organization and Ranger fans everywhere. Congratulations on being a World Series champ. They well deserve it. They've been very supportive of the Texas Rangers for many years, and they finally uh, broke through. And um, I'm so happy for them, and I wish them all the luck in 24 going forward. What stuck with you about the way that Bruce Bochy molded that team and the way that they were able to perform so well when, when few people gave him a chance to do what they did? His leadership, his mm -hmm. calmness, um, his uh, uh, attention to detail, uh, his attention to how you respect the game, his attention to making certain that he take care of the players when they needed to be taken care of, all of that comes into play. And he had some leaders on that team, Seager, Sim Marcus Simeon, um, even Garcia turned into a leader, um, you know, and the first baseman, he's always been a leader. He's just quiet, yeah. but uh, he's a quiet assassin. That's what I call him. And then that young kid at third base, um, there was a lot of talk about him, and he met all that expectation. And, um, and he's still got a ton of growth, which means that Texas Rangers are going to be dangerous for a while to come. Well, you led me to my next question. <laughs> You'll be facing those Texas Rangers in the division now. Um, how tough will that be in terms of knowing that they're a good ball club? And you also know a lot of people in that organization still. <laughs> what, what will it be like facing the Rangers this season? <coughs> Excuse me. It'll yeah. be tough. But... The game is played between those white lines. Mm -hmm. And as I always say, it's not the best team that wins, the team that play the best. And all I'm trying to get my group to understand is very young, is on the day we play, let's just be the best team that day. Mm -hmm. um, I don't mind them getting out of town being the best team overall, but on that day, if we can do that on a consistent basis, I think that the best team in baseball will change. So no, our attitude is just to come and play the game. I know it's gonna be a tough situation because I got a lot of young pitching I got a lot of young players, but uh, we're going to learn how to play baseball. And if we can learn how to play baseball and not get, give you know, wins away and make teams beat us, uh, we'll be fine. And um, I just left the East in the National League, toughest division in baseball in the National League. So now I come to the West, the toughest division in baseball in the American League. Um, I always seem to find myself in that situation, and we always seem to find a way to to make it to our benefit, and this year is not going to be any different and beyond. This is your second opportunity as a major league manager. Many of us think it took too long for you to get that second opportunity. I'm curious about your approach, how you will tweak things after the time you had in Texas, and how you'll go about being a manager for the second time around. Well, my only change is I have to be patient because the game has definitely gotten younger. The youth is coming with regularity, and you certainly have to be in a teaching mode and, um, and that's where I am. That's, that's right up my line, teaching. So, um, you know, just respect the game. Uh, take care of the fundamentals of the game. Uh, execute the fundamentals on the offensive side. Be aware of what the game is asking you to do. Those type of things, if we can create that here in Anaheim, um, well, we're going to be someone to be reckoned with. Um, I know that Houston is powerful. I know Texas is powerful. I know Seattle has come a long ways and now they're powerful. And what's going to happen in the West? They're going to have four teams in that West that's powerful. Five. I don't want to leave Oakland out. Listen, you know we love you, Wash. We wish you well. Maybe not when you're playing the Rangers, but you know we wish you well. All the best luck. Thank you so much, and um, I appreciate that. Uh, you thinking like that, and you should think like that because you uh, are with the Texas Rangers every day, so you know more about them than I know. I know what I know about them from afar, but I don't have the inside scoop like you get every day. But, you know... We just want to play good baseball, and I know we're going to be playing a very good baseball team and a well-coached baseball team because I got all the respect in the world for Bruce Bochy.